What's happening guys, Isaac here, and I wanna kickstart a new series where I go into which books I've been reading, which books I've read, which books everybody should read, because I like reading, you like reading, we all fucking like reading. So let's get into it, let's jump right into it. First book I wanna start off with is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now you, if you listen to any personal development channels, any self-improvement work, you'll see that this book is referred quite a lot. So this was a fucking valuable book. It's a really good book. It's very simple, very straightforward, an easy read that anyone can understand. You can pick it up, it's relatively entertaining and not very dry. Now, the reason I recommend this book is because it's a gateway book. It's a book that really gets you thinking about uh, your life, about how to make money. Now, it's not gonna give you some elaborate strategies of gathering up $100,000 from investors for your new startup but it is gonna give you the basic and fundamentals that are gonna lead you down the pathway of searching for more information. So it's a very, very good book. It's a very good gateway book. Now, why do I recommend this book? Well, a lot of people that are into personal development, self-improvement, they wanna make money. They wanna enjoy themselves. They wanna retire young. They don't wanna retire when they're 60. They wanna travel Asia, go around, go to Rome, and do all that stuff while pursuing your highest ideals. And you can't do that if you're working the nine to five every day. Now, there's a very big problem with society. Society trains you to become an employee, right? So when you go to school, the person who follows instructions, the person who remembers everything they're told and regurgitates it, is the person who gets the A+. Plus. The person who's a bit rebellious, a bit creative, thinking outside the box is punished. You, there is no value in that. It's because society is trying to develop employees, the employee mindset. The vast majority of people need to be employees for society to run. So you can't have everyone running around being entrepreneurs, being creative, taking risks and all this stuff. That's why society is like that. So because they're shaping people up, suiting you up, and beating you up to become an employee, a lot of information is skipped. In information such as difference between liabilities and assets, investing, real estate, the stock market, index funds, your Roth RA, your superannuation, how the market, human psychology, a lot of stuff is missed out because it's not needed when you are an employee, but it, but this stuff is very important when you're trying to make money down the line for yourself, when you're trying to gain some freedom, you really got to dig deep in this stuff. So the basic premise of this book is giving you the fundamentals, it's laying out the basics, and the very basic of the basics in terms of making money is the difference between liabilities and assets. We are taught in life in general just to gather up a bunch of liabilities. A lot of people don't know what an asset is. So a liability is pretty much something that takes your money. It's when you go to the shop and you buy that new Gucci handbag, it's a liability. When you buy that new car and you upgrade to a new model, that's a liability. When you are uh, paying your holiday via credit card, that's a liability. A liability is something that takes away money. Assets are things that give you money. Assets could be stuff such as real estate, maybe some investments you have in the stock market. Certain things that have a return, that have a certain return. Those are assets. And in layman's terms, in very simple terms, if you wanna make money, you need to have a lot more assets than liabilities. You can't run around all day just spending your money on Gucci flip-flops and Versace and all that bullshit. Now there's different types of assets. Assets could be like assets that actually give you money or assets has an assets to your life, like books, that's an asset. This book might have cost me $27, $27. But the value in this is worth more than $27. If I read this and I apply it, and I get a return on my life, maybe perhaps in a few years, I'll be making $200,000 a year because of this book. That's an asset, it's a different type of asset. So basically the book tells you to identify assets and liabilities and go for the assets. That's the basic premise of the book. Anyway, if you want to know more about the book, you just need to fucking read the book. It's a good book, it's very short. You can read this in a day or two. And yeah, so read that. And we're gonna have more books for you guys. And also, before I forget, 
we have reached 900 subscribers. We're on the way to a thousand and before I get to a thousand, I'm gonna do a video every fucking day just to prove a point to you guys about consistency. Consistency always wins and gives you great results. I think we'll get way more than a thousand subscribers before the end of the month. I'm gonna do a video every day for this month. We're gonna easily smash a thousand subscribers. And that's just one milestone. We're going to a hundred thousand. We got big goals for the channel. So if you guys like the video, make sure you like, subscribe. If you have any video ideas for me, since I'm gonna be doing a video every fucking day, make sure you leave in the comment section. I'm gonna need all these ideas and I'm gonna get to work, guys. Because this is what I do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to a hundred thousand, we're gonna get to one thousand first, and maybe we're gonna have a giveaway. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy that. Peace. Just